Locally, a 25-year woman was chosen as the only Hong Kong representative to undertake a recent scientific expedition to Antarctica, alongside climate change experts and policymakers from around the world. She witnessed firsthand how global warming is wreaking havoc to the southernmost of the world and how it could affect us back home. We spoke with the climate change activists on what we could do to reverse the damage. Chunks of icebergs breaking off from glaciers. Blooms of snow algae across the Antarctic coastline because of rising temperatures. And survival of baby penguins threatened by the loss of sea ice and more frequent gale force winds. These are pictures brought back from the South Pole by 25-year-old Natalie Chung. It was a journey of a lifetime and also filled me with both fear and hope. Seeing and witnessing all these environmental changes in Antarctica, uh, the place that uh, no man inhabits, uh, but uh, how far-fetched are impacts on the southernmost part of the Earth. Natalie was selected as a sole representative from Hong Kong to take part in a 12-day Antarctic climate expedition led by National Geographic Explorer-in-Residence Dr. Sylvia Earle. Alongside some 110 scientists, policymakers, and climate change activists from around the world, she traveled to the land of wind and ice in February, seeking solutions to reverse the trend of global warming. She also vows to spotlight the importance of Hong Kong and Asia in marine protection efforts. Asia is definitely crucial in solving the ocean climate puzzle. We have 85% of the total world population relying on fishery, the fishery sector. They live in Asia. But um, a lot of the ocean startups or ocean technological innovations are not happening here yet. So what first inspired Natalie to embark on this journey of climate change advocacy? It dates back to 15 years ago when she met Dr. Rebecca Lee, the first woman ever to have visited the North Pole, South Pole and Mount Everest. Natalie is a very persistent and determined young lady. It's a great thing to see a young person work on the important cause of climate change. Natalie also inspired a new generation of climate change advocates, including Hermia. She kind of demonstrated to me that young people from Hong Kong can also have the opportunity to speak at a global stage, influence policy, to influence um, how business and general public to see nature. Natalie also told us her Antarctic experience will not end with her return to Hong Kong. She will continue to share what she saw, learned and experienced in the expedition to at different schools and organizations in Hong Kong and even across Asia, so as to raise awareness towards the pressing issues of marine conservation. Hei 展開維期十二日的科研之旅和一百一十個來自不同地區的專家和政府官員等 Natalie
。回到本港，一名九零后女生二月曾参与南极科研之旅，是香港唯一代表。冰川急速融化，因气温上升出现大面积的极地雪藻。气候变化下，企鹅宝宝受更频繁的暴风威胁。这些都是二十五岁的钟欣玉在南极带回来的画面。那个冰山崩塌的声音，好像一个大爆炸的一样。那我们听到，还有我们看到，亲眼目睹这个情况，让我们很伤心。新玉二月作为香港唯一代表，跟随国家地理学会助会探险家，远赴南极，展开十二天的科研之旅，与一百一十名来自不同地区的专家及政府官员等，研究聚焦海洋的碳中和方案。南极其实拥有了我们九成整个地球上面的冰块，还有我们七成的啊、呃、淡水资源。我们保护到南极，就等于我们可以拯救整整个人类的命运。新玉说，他的气候变化倡议工作不会随着南极考察旅程的结束而止步。接下来的时间，回到不同的机构和学校演讲，分享他在南极的第一手经历，继续呼吁大众关注海洋保育。无线电视记者林婷婷报道。